Yo guys, what's up? It's T-Bot here, and today we're going to be doing another video on the Invincible Hog Rider. So I have one Hog Rider and 13 healers on my lower level Town Hall 8 account, and we're just going to be going into it. So I'm sorry for not uploading the past two weeks. I've been in Italy, Venice, Florence, and things like that. So if you guys see me out here, uh, just say hi. But we're going to be getting into the first raid, and this is going to be on a Town Hall 8. So let's place our healers down right here, and our Hog Rider uh, also down. And I'm sorry if the mic sounds a little bit different. I'm using my regular mic but it's just kind of hard to set up in a hotel room so as you can see the hog rider is going to head over to the archer tower and uh, the archer tower is going to take quite a few amount of hits i also have a ton of uploads scheduled uh for the rest of the week so don't worry about all those uploads i missed i'm so so sorry about that uh but we're going to be getting into our regular daily upload schedule as soon as i leave italy but i'm going to be trying to upload daily from now on so we got three percent we're going to take out the tesla here and the big problem is the healers uh not reaching the hog rider in time so the hog rider is going to head over to the cannon and the town hall is right by it and it's not able to take that out because it's just going for defenses. So we've got 6% and this is definitely going to take a very, very long time. Uh, again, not too much loot available, but 39 trophies is a lot when you're in the lower level uh, leagues. I think I'm in silver, one of the lower leagues actually. So uh, the mortar is going to go down. It's in the center of the base, 9%. We're about to hit that 12%. There it is. And archer towers are going off on the hog rider. And of course, I had to drop a lot of trophies to go down here. Uh, as you can see, I'm at, actually, I'm at Silver 2. I just realized I'm at Silver 2. And the Dark Elixir is on the outside, but there's no Dark Elixir available. And this is a Town Hall 8. He doesn't look like he has a very high level Barbarian King. Uh, noticing that this is a very rushed Town Hall 8 as well. 14%. It doesn't look like we might... Uh, be able to get the two star but definitely the one star here if we have enough time we have a minute and 30 seconds remaining so the arch tower is going to go down and his walls are also very low level as i uh, realized just now and one defense is remaining and that would be the cannon uh the cannon is going to be stricken by the hog rider right now and it's going to get out of the way for us and we're going to be able to get the rest of the gold mines and elixir collectors along with the barracks and army camps and we might be able to pick up the 50 percent here I also wanted to mention that here in Italy, I'm going to be meeting uh, Clash of Clans 101 or Hurley 101, whatever you want to call him. Uh, he likes to go to Italy once a year, so that's going to be really fun. Hopefully, just like a little meetup uh, with him, maybe a vlog or two. Uh, we'll just have to see. So, I'm going to drop my Barbarian King in the bottom left-hand corner. And, of course, it's not only the Hog Rider. Uh, the rules apply to the heroes as well. So, I'm going to drop him at the bottom. 31% and we have 38 seconds. So, uh, we have around 35 seconds to get 13% on this base. Uh, to get that one star, we're going to break through that one wall, 42. And it looks like we might have enough time to do that. So, we just broke the shield. 12 hours for him. Uh, his name is High Loot and he's from Die Holtzwormer. Something like that is German. So uh, more army camps are going to go down and it looks like the the king has penetrated through the wall and now he's going to be attacking the elixir collectors. There's the 50%. No town hall. So I'm happy with the one star and I really don't care if I lose trophies or gain trophies. I kind of want to stay where I'm at right now. So I have 2 million uh, elixir right now and 1 million gold and I'm really focusing on upgrading some of the wall so I used all my troops loot bonus isn't too good uh, now let's head over to the next base and this is a town hall 7 he's got 80,000 gold available 98,000 elixir 64 dark elixir 35 trophies we're gonna put in our healers first on the top of the base then the hog rider to follow up so what I'm worried about in this raid is all those mortars the splash damage so I'm gonna put some lightning spells right on top of that mortar now, it's definitely going to be hard to get that two-star. Uh, this is actually a farming base, and I didn't realize that the town hall was on the outside. So, we're just going to be going for the inside of the base and seeing how much damage we can totally do to this base. So, two minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Uh, the raid has just started out. And as you can see, once the hog rider moves along uh, each defense after it takes out the last one, it just takes a long time for the healers to get over there. And the hog rider, uh, in turn, takes a lot of damage from the rest of the building that are firing at him for example right now as you can see that was a very close he almost died there uh, I'm surprised that he didn't and we've got we've only got 9% already the middle cannon has been destroyed and it looks like that's where the town hall goes if this is a trophy base but this is a farming base uh, so 11% uh, the mortar is about to go down there it goes I'm gonna place my barbarian king and the hard thing about placing your barbarian king is that you never know when the healers are gonna target the barbarian king uh, instead of the hog riders 
So now precisely that the Hawk Rider died, they're going to head over to the Barbarian King, which is the level 3 Barbarian King, and we're going to see if he's going to be able to get the 50% uh, just because there aren't uh, many defenses left on this base except for some of the cannons and some of the Archer Towers, uh, mostly on the southern side of the base. 21%, 60 Dark Elixir, doesn't look like we're going to be able to get that Dark Elixir though. I have one Lightning Spell and I can place that wherever I want, and I think I'm going to place that uh, on a Builder's Hut or a Barbarian King Pedestal. Uh, where it takes one percentage off for one lightning spell, which is really, really good. Uh, we've gotten a 27%. He's going to head over to the bottom left-hand corner of the base. The Elixir Collectors are going to be demolished here, and the air defense is going off on the healers, and that's one of the big reasons why I don't like this strategy, and I definitely don't recommend this strategy. This is for fun. This is the Invincible Hog Rider attack, and I've been doing a lot of Invincible series, so uh, this is just an add-on to that. Now he's going to head over to the Gold Mine, as you can see, the gold mines are kind of full, uh, but most of them are low level, so there's not too much loot available on the base. Oh, I already have 3,500 Dark Elixir, so uh, I just need a little bit more to upgrade my king to level 4. So now the king is going to head over to that wall and either attack the Elixir Storage or the Archer Tower. And most of these healers are going to die out. I'm going to look for that one percentage building, attack that Builder's Hut, and it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get that 50%, so we're going to lose a few trophies. We get that 37%. And maybe the Barbarian King can finish off the Elixir Storage. Maybe we'll get to 40%, around 40%. And uh, it's just a shame that our Hog Rider died so quickly. And that's one of the bad things when you do an Invincible Hog Rider raid uh, with all healers. But I'm sure if you have a higher level Hog Rider, of course you can uh, go ahead and do a little bit more damage on different types of bases. So 14 trophies lost. Let's get into the last and final raid. This is going to be on Crawl. And as you can see... His base looks pretty low level, uh, I'm going to send my Hog Rider right there, and the mortar's going off, and there's only one defense right now, excuse me, two defense that are just focused on that Hog Rider, which is very, very good. So we've taken out the Wizard Tower, now he's going to head over to the next Wizard Tower, it looks like it's a level 2 Wizard Tower, don't take my word for it, uh, Archer Tower is also going to be firing at the Hog Rider and the mortar as well. Wizard Tower is about to go down. There it goes. Now heading over to the Archer Tower. Yep, there it goes. And the Archer Tower is going to go down very shortly. So as you can see, 36 trophies available on this raid. And it looks like there's a level 1 mortar or a level 2 mortar on the outside of the base, which is uh, doesn't really make sense. Maybe this guy hasn't been on his base in a very long time. And that would make sense just because he hasn't removed uh, most of the shrubbery on a base. On the base, uh, 84,000 gold, 54,000 elixir available, so not too much. And right now, the Hog Rider is making its way around the proximity of the base, heading over to the Air Sweeper, and luckily the Air Sweeper is not in range of the healers. Uh, that really helped us out on the amount of healers we have left on the base, but the air defense is still going strong against them. We have 10%, and it's looking very grim right now. Uh, we're just about halfway done with the raid, and we barely have enough percentage to get that 50%. Uh, 36 trophies again, so I don't. doesn't matter whether I lose or win this raid, but I'm just still really sad that we can't uh, get as much percentage as possible uh, on this base that I wanted to, especially since it's in a square and it's really easy to get. So the Town Hall is not an option on this attack. 1 minute and 20 seconds remaining. Both Archer Towers are firing on the Hog Rider right now along with the Cannon and the both of the Mortars. So 16%, we're really approaching that 20 percentage mark, but we're not going to be able to get 50%. Very, very unfortunate about that. So there are just a few buildings on the outside of the base. I'm deciding whether to drop my Barbarian King uh, or not, and I think I might be able to do that either on the bottom right corner or just the right corner on the bottom left corner. So either way, it works out for me. I don't think I'm going to get the 50%. I might as well just take as much loot as possible. Uh, so the Hog Rider is now going to head over to the rest of the base, uh, attack that mortar, and now Barbarian King is going to be deployed on the top right corner instead of the right corner, and the mortar is going to be able to go down 21%. So we're approaching 120,000 subscribers, or we're actually past that. I think we're 123,000 subscribers and about to get my YouTube plaque button or about to claim it, and I'm really excited to do that. And I just want to thank you guys so much for 100,000. I know I said this before, but it's really crazy. Uh, how much support you guys give me uh, on the, these last few videos and how much uh, views, likes, and everything that I've been getting. So the raid is going to wrap up here 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I went a little fast. Uh, but anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.
On the rail, homie, on the rail, tell me how you feel Everything I spit is gold, like I got a grill Bet you people talking, thought I'd sell out once I got a deal Still me and my team, only difference, we live in the hills